Greenville County Schools have a plan in place for cleaning the school buildings if and when students go back to class. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell has more on the precautions that the district is taking. This week, Greenville County Schools have been bringing in different officials to answer parents' questions on Facebook Live. Thursday, the Executive Director for Facilities addressed concerns about keeping school buildings clean. We're looking at everything we can, uh, first and foremost, for the, the health and welfare of our students and staff, and then what, what are the things that we can do that make sure that as soon as we're able to get our students back in to a, a what we used to know as a normal sure. academic environment, yeah. we're going to be able to get them there. To reduce germs, hand sanitizer will be provided in classrooms and public areas, and water fountains won't be running. Instead, students will have access to bottle filling stations. So this year, bring your own bottle and we can fill you up. That's correct. With that. All right, this is, and, and then no, the water fountains are, will be turned off there. Right. Now, there, there, of course, we're going to have situations where a child forgets their bottle or, um, yeah. for whatever reason, does not have right. one. We will be providing some type of disposable um, vessel, okay. a Dixie cup. After each school day, Carlin says the buildings will be disinfected. These new electrostatic sprayers or foggers, depending on, on how you term them, mm -hmm. They, they provide a, a level of cleaning and efficiency that we've never been able to achieve oh, okay. strictly with traditional you know, spray cans and, and sprayers and hand wipes and things like that. In between classes, teachers will be tasked with wiping down high touch areas like desks. We are truly walking into a situation now where it's going to be a, a, an all hands on deck effort mm -hmm. between our custodial staff, our administration, and, and our teachers. And Maxwell, 7 News. And that is the case for many districts and a complete look at all of the districts in our area and what they proposed for their fall plans. Just click on the back to school headquarters banner. We've put it all right there on our homepage at WSPA.com.